Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an Echo Dot that is not responding. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this full tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I will specifically be going over four things that you can try to do to get your Echo Dot to respond once again. These four things are so easy uh, to try out and they only take a couple of minutes maximum for each of them. So it's definitely worth it because you can probably get it fixed within the first or the second one. The first two are probably the most common fixes and then the third and the fourth are a little less common but they sometimes work. So fix number one, okay? Okay? You want to unplug your Echo Dot from your wall outlet, leave it unplugged for about 15 to 30 seconds, even a minute if you really want to make sure that you're trying your best, and then plug it back in. What that does is it simply restarts the Echo Dot, and when you restart your Echo Dot, if there is a glitch, a software glitch, malfunction, a hardware glitch, malfunction, anything like that, it'll likely clear it out. So if, it is, if it's not responding because of a little glitch or a malfunction or an error, and it's a temporary one, then that should clear it out. So try that out, it's really easy, and whenever a device doesn't work properly, I always just unplug it and plug it back in, and most of the time it fixes itself. The second thing that you can try to do is it could be a bad Wi-Fi connection. One of the most common reasons why your Echo Dot might not be responding or might be responding slowly is because of a bad or uh, not like a not a stable and unstable Wi-Fi connection. So um, since this runs basically off of Wi-Fi for the most part, as far as I understand, all that you should do is check your Wi-Fi connection. So do a speed test wherever, like do a Wi-Fi speed test wherever your Echo Dot is. Use your your phone or another device that's on Wi-Fi to do a speed test to see what your Wi-Fi speed is where the device is and see if maybe its location is causing a problem if it's far from your router or your modem or if the speed is fine then just unplug your router and modem leave them unplugged for 30 seconds to a minute and then plug them back in do the same thing that we did with the Echo Dot try to just give them like a restart okay um, and oftentimes that will also solve the problem and it's you know every once in a while I end up unplugging and plugging back in my wireless uh, my Wi-Fi router and modem because it's it just kind of refreshes all of the all of the playing fields as, as I like to call it of all of the devices I have a lot of devices running on Wi-Fi so it's good for me to do that you know once a month once every two months whenever I notice that there's a little bit of a lack of speed okay number three give it five to ten minutes sometimes it's just a temporary issue right you know sometimes all technological devices they just freeze up and they just need a few minutes to sort of gather themselves before they start working again. So before you automatically think it's a massive problem, maybe the Echo Dot just needs a couple minutes to sort of fix whatever's going on inside of it. So just give it five to 10 minutes. Um, it could just be a temporary delay and then maybe try some other things. If it starts to respond again, you can try some of the other fixes that I already outlined, okay? Last but not least is number four, which is factory reset the Echo Dot. So when you factory reset a device, essentially, you are, um, you are, uh, you're, you're taking it and you are completely resetting it to its factory settings. So you're getting rid of all data, all information on it. It's basically as if it's brand new. Okay. Uh, it's really easy to do. You essentially want to hold down the action button up here, which is just this blank circle. Hold that down for about 30 seconds, give or take, and it will end up factory resetting as far as I can remember I've only done it once but as far as I can remember that's how it's done um, but look it up because if you have a different gen generation of Echo Dot if it's an older one or a newer one depending on when you're watching this video at the time of making this video I believe this is the newest one but you might be watching it in the future it might have it might have a different way of factory resetting so be sure to look it up that's it hopefully one of those works for you if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today Thanks for watching.